So we go from birds to a butterfly. Monarch and a milkweed flower. Another pollinator and a safe place for a monarch. We need safe places. We need to protect the environment. It looks like a second one is trying to come around too. Oh. I don't see where he went. Oh, there he is. We need to protect our pollinators. Save the habitats. This is marsh milkweed, it's still in the milkweed family. Different pollinators on it though. But they're all important in our saving the planet. This looks like where the action is today, on the marsh milkweed. But it's quite windy. Pollinators in action here. What a nice close-up look. Whoa. I guess that was uh, an invader. Here he is again. This guy looks like he's just going about his business and that other guy seemed to be a little anxious. This one's meticulously going about each little flower. Oh, now he's, whoops. I thought it was a helper there. Look at those eyes. Whoa. Wind is blowing them, but they keep going. Keeping our flowers and our vegetables healthy. Pollinators. I'm sure hoping this is one of the good guys. Looks like he's doing the job. Here's one of the big guys. 
working on pollinating. Keeps flicking his wings. Well, here we have a bumblebee pollinating. The rusty back ones are endangered. I don't think this is a rusty back one. Oh, he's gone now. He flew off to another vervain plant. There he is. They work in the wind. They really get around to a lot of little different flowers. Nope, it doesn't look like he's got the rusty back. Just a bumblebee. Well, we're back to birds. Here's a morning dove in her backyard, sitting on a chin-up bar. Although it's not doing any chin-ups, looks like he's, he or she has their head cocked, looking or listening to me. They've got such a nice sound. Ooh, 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 ooh. And they're pretty and they're gray and they're smooth pretty heads don't know why this one's not moving seems to be quite comfortable here it has been hanging around we don't know if it's got a nest here or not Here's this little butterfly on the asphalt. What is he doing here? Why is he here? He's a pretty little guy and he's been here for quite a while now. He could easily have gone unnoticed but I've got all these questions about him now. And the wind keeps blowing him. We are back to Swallows again. We're in a friend's garage. Here are five new... Oh, Mama feeds him. Five new babies. Or maybe that was Daddy feeding them. Here it comes again. Oh, I'm gonna move back just a little bit. I think the parent was a little upset with me. We'll see if they come in again. Thought I saw the mom, the parent, out of the corner of my eye. They're all looking off to the left here. They think she'll be coming or he'll be coming from that direction. The parents flying around, but I think there. 
All right. So she can take care of her babies again. Yep, they're looking over that way where the parents have been landing. Oh, that pollinator just disappeared right away. He was so quick. I stopped here at Rock Springs at Abelman Gorge because I was hoping to see some turkey vultures. I don't remember if we've talked much about turkey vultures, but they are some of the cleaner uppers. They take care of the dead bodies along the highway and in the woods and places like that. And uh, without these decomposers and cleaner uppers, it would be an awful mess around in many areas. But I just happened to think of a situation several years ago on a summer trip with kids. We were biking back from Mirror, not Mirror Lake, Devil's Lake, and it was very hot. And all of a sudden, we realized turkey vultures were circling over us. And they have the ability to smell. And uh, I think they were hoping that we, one of us would at least be part of their supper. But instead of uh, giving in to that, we made up a song. And I just, I don't think I did this for you, but I am today. So when turkey vultures are circling around, it's probably because they smell death, smell their supper. So here's the song that we came up with because we counted the turkey vultures and there were 13 of them. How about that for a lucky number or not? 13 turkey vultures flying in the sky, waiting for something just to die. Picking at a finger, picking at an eye. Thirteen turkey vultures flying in the sky. And then we made up several other verses. But I don't remember those. Anyway, I think of that song now. And it's been probably 20 years since we made it up. But turkey vultures are good for the environment. We have this nice hanging pot on our front porch and it's had a bird's nest in it for several weeks. It had four eggs. We think it's a house finch and uh, we saw three of the eggs hatch. We think there are two in there right now. And mother has been housekeeping very carefully, or maybe the father. We could be thankful that you're not a bird and have to take poop out with your mouth. You can have... That was a loud truck. You can have diapers. We're going to take a look now at the babies, see how they're doing. We have to water the plant also. The babies are filling the nest. Their eyes are open, they're starting to get feathers. It looks like just two. around 9 o'clock in the morning. This seems to be when there's feeding. The mother doesn't spend any time on the nest anymore. It's too crowded. Lots of cleaning has to be done.
I'm along Highway V, just outside Reedsburg, and I've taken uh, pictures here before of the geese on the pond and the nests out on that little island out there. And I have found turtles and snakes on the road here and rescued them. But as you can see, it's quite dry right now. And I've talked about vernal ponds in the past. The little pond in uh, Webb Park, Popple Nature Center. And this pond, though, in the past years has weathered the summers and stayed wet. It looks like there is a little bit of water here, possibly yet. But last year it dried, and then with some rain, it got water in it again. And this, there was uh, water. Not like now. It's mostly mud. So I'm wondering if this is a, a sign of global warming, global change, climate change because we've had a couple of rains now and uh, this little pond in the beginning here is all that's left of it right now. So this seems to be a big change from the past where the rains would fill this pond up again in the summertime. So we're going to keep an eye on this pond the rest of the summer, this is a um, little past mid-July right now. We'll see how this is in August. And this whole habitat may be changing as a sign, one small local sign of climate change in our area. This is Sacred Heart Summer Camp, and we're at Mirror Lake. And we are going to go canoeing on the big canoe. And what do you hope to see? Fish. 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 Turtles. Turtles. Snakes. A frog. A frog. A frog. Snakes. What? Snakes. Snakes. Me too. All right. I hope we see some. Oh, and maybe some big birds. Maybe an eagle. Maybe a turkey vulture waiting for something to die. Hopefully it's not us. Here comes somebody else from our group. And then we will be ready to go. It's easy. You sit down. Quack, quack. They're on the boat dock. Hey, look, they're going to come above ground. Looking at things so they're coming above ground. They're coming above ground. They're coming above ground. Mr. Williams. 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 What do you think those ducks are thinking? Quack. Quack. Food. Food. They want fish. Do ducks even eat fish? I think they're looking at us thinking, oh my gosh, look at all those kids. Dragonflies. I see dragonflies. Dragonflies? Yeah, they're looking at the water for the algae. I think we're going to see lots of dragonflies. Okay, everybody. Can I see some big smiles? Look this way for a picture, everyone. Off we go, Now they are on the hike. Oh, it's Mr. Williams! Hey, tell Mr. Williams when we found him a rock. Squirrels! It's a 
What do you find? What? We found sandstone and writing. Oh. So what did you find? Sandstone. 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 Moss. And what else? Moss. Moss and blue stuff. Oh, moss. And blue with yellow. And how about ferns? Yeah, yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. Double drinks. Double drinks. Oh, you don't think so. They do it. Really? Yeah, I do. We're going to the big new bridge. Oh, it looks like Mrs. Maggio found something cool that she's showing the kids, talking about. She's pointing to. Oh, mosses. Oh, yeah. All right, she's going to look under this rock. Boys and girls, let's see one, one last habitat we didn't check out. Oftentimes, oh, can you move any of these? slug under there. All right, we're, this is the uh, Sacred Heart group and we're at Popple Nature Center and they're feeling the stem of a sedge because it's a triangle and there's an expression, sedges have edges and there's more to it. Do you know what the rest of it is? No. Some plants are round, some are square. Mints Mint plants are often square. Melana. Mm -hmm. I, I skated in winter over there. Mm -hmm. and you just it. A different kind of sedge, you think? She said she skated, she skated in winter. What? She skated in winter over there. Oh, you skated. I'm sorry. Cool. Wound. Over there. Wound. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a girl. Mm -hmm. But some of you didn't. So whoever went to Mirror Lake, oh. let's see if you remember two nature friends that we met there. Fern. Moss. Yes. Moss. Moss, right? So moss, if moss is really nice and soft. Moss tells you that, doesn't But it? there's another nature friend that looks like... Talk and draw on this tree? No. 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 Does anyone remember oh. what that nature friend is called? Lichen. Oh, yeah. It's
it's lichen. That's right. Do you see how it gets even thicker as you go higher up the tree? So that stuff is alive and it's called lichen. Can you guys all say lichen? Lichen. Lichen. I like the lichen. Maybe you'll find more ferns that we saw yesterday. Maybe yeah. Like ferns. Yeah, we should look for ferns because remember where ferns like to grow near? This is a nice one. Do they like to... Do, do ferns like to grow near desert, or do they like to grow near water? Water. Water, water. water right? Water. So as we get closer by the creek, we should keep our See, eyes out water for over ferns. There, so there might be ferns over there. Yeah, let's, you can crumble it into soil with your fingers. So if you want to try that, you can. You can break off a part of this wood. And smell it, too. You can see that Guess it can what? crumble apart. When and then you can, you gotta when, find a part like an animal wet, dies, so the there's most likely gonna be mushrooms by it because mushrooms are decomposers. Oh, look at that. Good. You can tell your family I'm they so are. strong. I broke a tree apart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, worms love that kind of uh, habitat because they like to... <laughs> yep, they sure are, aren't they? He's a curious. He's curious, George. He likes to try to, like, I think a lot disappear. Of oh, I see. Milana. Milana found it. We are finding lots of mushrooms. Oh. It was back by, it was back by the wet bulbs. We do have a friend. Diddy, I'm sorry. You won't do anything. We are at the first art project here. Look at it. A sculpture. You know. No, we see it. No much. There's a bridge over there. Maybe we can cross it. I love that bridge. I love that bridge. I like to throw leaves down. Yeah, Mr. Williams is taking a picture. Yeah, Mr. Williams is taking a So they basically made a fence of sticks. Yeah. A fence out of sticks. Walking by one day, he's leaving the sticks in the fence there. Makes it one time I was sitting on that tree. That's a neat tree to sit on. I'm going to show my mom. And I wrote, wrote down here. <coughs> Look at all of these down here. Ew. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, now we can see that. Yep, cover, cover. Audrey. Yeah, no matter where it is. Animals. So let's let's try to count toes. Um, there's one, two, two. That's I hear owls. Yep, sure is. With those long, skinny fingers. I hear owls. Have you ever seen a kind of big bug crawl out of the ground? Oh, oh. Well, it, it will open its shell, and then when it comes out, it has long, straight wings. Oh, it's a oh big that. Bug. Yeah. My brother found a shell. Yeah, yeah, you can find them on trees sometimes. Does anyone oh. know the name of it? Caterpillar. Close. It's a cicada. Oh. Does that sound yeah. familiar? Cicada, so that's what's making the rattling. It sounds like someone's got a shoe. new ones that just caught. But it's not no. a rattlesnake. We don't have those. I think so I found one of our friends here. Yeah, and some places in Wisconsin. I think I found one of our friends here. Oh, really? Ow! Okay, this was a bad idea, I think. We're listening. Let's see what Mrs. Maggio found. That's probably Fredoette. Well, it's made of the same kind of thing. Oh, I touched it! Yeah, did you make it hot though? Oh, no. Did you get to see this? I did not oil the grasshopper. Don't go wrong first. One touch of this one. 
And their shell opens, and when they come out, they have wings. Mm -hmm. Well, Eve found a cicada shell. Do you guys want to look at it? Sure. Okay, I'll hold it up first, and then we can pass it around. So, oh, that's a um, June beetle, I think. This is the shell of a cicada, and you can see its eyes right in front. What are the two little things that stick out from the antennas. Antennas. antennas, right? All insects have two antennas. And then let's see if we can figure out how many legs it has on each side. Five, five, four, three. There's three on each side, right? So if there's three on each side, how many is that? Six. 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 Oh, you guys are good at math even in the summer. Good job. All right, so it's got six uh -huh. legs, two eyes, and look at this spot on its back. Do you see where it's split it's like open? It's kind of, this is where, I can't see oh, come closer. This is where the, the back Rex. split open. I'll give you guys a chance to touch it in a minute. Where the back split open and the adult cicada came out and unfolded its wings. Because can, can the one that grew up in the dirt fly? No. No, just like a caterpillar can't fly, right? Or a dragonfly nymph can't fly. They can't fly when they're in their baby stage. But when they change into an adult, they'll have wings. But there's a little spot on here, last thing I want to show you, and then I'll pass it around, where you can tell that it's going to become wings. I'll let everyone, I'll move it all around oh. so everybody see yeah. how this little thing, there you can tell that that's going to be where the cicada is going to have wings when it changes to an adult. That's really cool. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Oh, that oh, yeah. Yep, I'm going to pass it around. So, you okay, Ruby? Yeah. Oh, it's my when I pass shoulder. this, guys, it's pretty what? strong, that that but if you squish it, it's going to break apart. So you can pick it up and it, it will be okay, but don't press on it, okay? Does that sound good? Can we be gentle with it so all the kids can see? All right, you go first and then pass it to the next person. Fly it then, Audrey, come on. Now, did the moth pick a good spot to camouflage? Mm -hmm. no. no, it really didn't. It should have picked maybe a white tree. It would have camouflaged better because we could or see a it or a mushroom. It would have camouflaged perfectly with that. And you can see the pretty pattern on its wings, right? Um, Audrey, come on. Oh. Okay. 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 Okay.